Welcome to the fourth video in our Quantum Nova Pro series. Now, in the first video, we had a look at actually setting this thing up and getting it to fly out the box. The second video, we had a look at adding the gimbal onto this thing. So we've got that. Uh, we've also then looked at connecting it to Mission Planner with a USB cable using the port underneath and uh, connecting it and having a look and setting it up uh, on that as well. And then in this video, we're actually going to add telemetry. Now, as I mentioned in that video where we looked at it using Mission Planner, there is also the ability to connect to the model and fly it wirelessly. Not just with the radio, but also to get that telemetry information back to a ground station so that you can see how the craft's behaving, how much battery voltage is left, its attitude, its distance away from you, and all that goodness as well. Now, the way it works is rather than have a USB cable connecting your computer to the model, what you have are two additional radios. One on the ground, that is connected in to whatever it is you're using, usually a PC or something else, and then one connected here on the side onto a model, usually with the aerial pointing directly down and the one on the ground station with the aerial connected directly up. And this is essentially like a wireless USB cable that connects over that link. There's also another thing I want to show you in this video as well, and that's the fact that you can use a special device which uh, we can get from Hobby King, and that is this quantum Bluetooth receiver. So rather than you have to use something like a USB cable on this radio into your Android tablet or your PC or whatever to have that link, you can use this as the ground station. It has its own battery in, and then this you can connect to via Bluetooth. So for an Android tablet or an Android phone, you can have a completely wireless connection all the way up to your model. So first of all, let's flip this thing over and have a look at how you connect this together and then we'll go from there and look at the pieces you actually need. So these are the radios that we're going to use on the air side. These are the telemetry radios. I'll put a link in the description and we'll say a thank you to Hobby King for sending us these bits and bobs to add to the model. If we open the box up, then you get two of these radios. We've obviously got one on the model, I'll show you how we wire it up. And one of these connects onto your PC or ground station using the USB connector. And we get the USB cable here in the box that you can use to connect it to your PC for something like Mission Planner. We also get a cable which has uh, two ends for put, looking it into something like an Android tablet. We get two aerials. Uh, be careful not to mix these up with the aerials you're using for your FPV or other bits and pieces because these will be specifically designed for the frequency of the radio that it connects to. You get two of those and again the way to set this up is to have them both pointing directly upright to give you the best possible signal and then you'll notice there's also another connector on the bottom alongside the USB one and that is to connect to the flight controller. So these also work with standard flight controllers like the Pixhawk and also the APM and these cables that come in here are designed to allow you to plug these radios directly into your APM or Pixhawk so that's a nice addition. The way it works here is that on the actual side of the quantum model itself there is an additional clip that comes when you build it and if you're not sure what that clip is for it's to house one of these radios on the side. So here's the other one of those radios plugged in, clips into here and it just unclips so there it is and it just um, goes in. Once it's in it's pretty secure. Might put a little bit of sticky tape behind it just to make sure that it doesn't fall out in the event of a problem and then to wire it up is a piece of cake because what you have is you have the cable here that comes as part of the kit with the Quantum Nova. It plugs into the telemetry port at the bottom, uh, just snaps into there, and then plugs into the back of the radio. And that is all you need to do to set it up on the air side. On the ground side, it's a little bit more interesting because we have two options depending on whether or not we want to use something like a PC where we're going to plug this radio in or we're going to use the other device. So let me just get the other device and we'll have a look at that. But before we go any further, there is quite a few videos already on the channel in the APM playlist where we set up these radios 
these are the version 2 of the 3DR telemetry radios that are available in these lovely cases. The ones that we've already looked at are the version 1s in those videos, but do have a look. We go through how you set it up. You have to use certain board rates, you have to configure them um, sometimes. The way these seem to work from the testing that I've done here is the ones that I've had to play with have all worked beautifully without any messing about. Whereas some of the ones that we've used in those other previous videos, we've had to go through and check the settings. So if you're buying these uh, from Hobby King, I'll put again links in the description, they just seem to work out the box, which is great. Which is one of the nice things about this model. I've been very impressed of how everything's gone together and just worked. So let's grab that other piece and we'll have a look at that. So this is called a Bluetooth telemetry box. And it has a little clip on the back so you can put it wherever you want to. I'm going to have it clipped to the back of my ground station and the, the way it works is it has a battery in it. It's a reasonably weighty thing uh, which is why the clip's there uh, but it has a couple of cool tricks up its sleeve. So normally with those other radios that we looked at the way we'd have it would have this on the ground station with the aerial so that we could talk to the craft and then we'd connect it via the USB cable to the PC or whatever and then use that wireless virtual USB cable uh, running at 57600 board to talk to the craft. So that's one way to do it. This adds an extra little wrinkle. So if we turn it on, I'll show you how it works. It has an onboard battery, so you charge this up so it works without being plugged into anything, and it's receiving the telemetry information from the model and then retransmitting that over a Bluetooth link. That's when that blue light's flashing. When you get your Bluetooth link, that light goes solid. Now that Bluetooth link is available on any kind of Android device or anything really that will pair with a Bluetooth device and allows you then to wirelessly connect to your model. So this somewhere on your ground station with the aerial stuck up in the air, you connect to this using Bluetooth from whatever device you have, whether it's your Android phone, whether it's something like a PC, whatever you've got, and then this is the thing that actually communicates bi-directionally with the drone as it's flying. So. Let me just show you how you quickly set this up. It's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is power this thing on and go into the Bluetooth settings on your device and discover it. Once you've discovered it, you pair with it. Uh, 1234 was the pin number that we used and then it was paired up great. We actually then used something called Tower. Now Tower is the latest Android app from 3DR. Once you install Tower you might have to update a couple of other things as well, but Tower is what we're going to have a look at in a second. Once you have Tower connected it will find the Bluetooth settings and then connect wirelessly to this box which is then talking to the craft as you fly. So let me clear the decks off a little bit here and I'll show you this in action with it all set up. So we've got everything laid out ready to go. So we have the model here, again props off when we're ever doing something like this indoors. And um, we have the telemetry radio at the side. We have our little magic Bluetooth box here waiting to go. And we have all of the bits and pieces here on the Android tablet. Now I'm using a little Samsung Galaxy Tab Mini thing um, and we've installed tower on here so when we move this this should all move around and we'll be able to get all the populated bits at the top so again all I've done on here is I've paired the Bluetooth connection with this quantum device and then I've installed tower and also the other apps that it needed from 3DR to be working first of all I'm going to power up the quad So now the quad is powered up, there's actually, I'm not sure if you can see this on the video very well, but there's um, a green and orange pulsing light showing that it's ready for the connection. So what we'll do is we'll power up this receiver. And then on here we'll actually set up and we'll cl click the connect button. Now what should happen? Connect to Bluetooth. Battery at 99%. And the wireless connection's working. So here you can see it's working, 
by the blue light is solid to show that we have a Bluetooth connection. That's just your power light. We obviously have the light showing how much battery there's left. We have the link status, which is green, and we also have that little pulsing light underneath the amber one is showing that the data is coming along. On the actual screen itself now, we can actually see things like there's 10.7, 10.8 volts we can actually see the location and also the orientation we can see the angle um, pretty much everything on here is now shown so if I rotate the model if you just keep your eye on the artificial horizon on the right hand side hopefully you can see that moving as I move the model around so does the artificial horizon so this is actually getting all of the telemetry from the machine wirelessly so it's we have a wireless connection from here to here with these aerials and then we have a wireless connection via the bluetooth onto this craft so hopefully that helps those of you that are looking and interested in this this is one of the simplest telemetry setups i've ever done with an apm usually there's a little bit more messing about to get it all set up but hopefully that those are interested in flying around and using a ground station and having something like this underneath the ground station showing all the key critical bits and pieces that'll give you the confidence that you know what with this technology it's pretty easy to set up that cable plug in with a port underneath and the little mount at the side is a piece of cake on the model this thing actually works really well and it allow you to connect via bluetooth and access that telemetry that you can get from the model while it's flying Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.